Right now, new at six. Today is the busiest day to take to the skies. That's according to the FAA. Nearly 54,000 flights are taking off from airports across the country. And as we inch closer to the 4th of July weekend, those numbers are expected to spike again. CBS News Miami's Joe Murray joins us now with what's driving the travel boom. Joan? Well, here we are at FLL. You can see behind me, it's already getting to be a busy night, and we're going to expect even more travelers on Sunday here at FLL and at MIA as we get closer to a sizzling Independence Day. The Paglioni family is headed to Canada for the fourth in cooler weather. They got to Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International ahead of schedule. We weren't going to take any chances. Two weeks ago, all the flights were canceled, and it was so backed up, so we went early. Travel is back with a roar. The FAA calling it the busiest travel day of the year, with 54,000 flights taking off. When Eric Osceola heard that, he rounded up his seven basketball players quick for their travel ball trip to Seattle. That's why we left the house early. Trains are filling up fast, too, ahead of the fourth. This Amtrak train bound for New York was crowded. And the roads are expected to be congested. A trip out of town will take you longer. Gas prices in South Florida are averaging in the 3.30 a gallon range. John DeFoot was filling up, but is staying local. But I always avoid the holidays because of the craziness at the airports. I worked at the airport for almost 30 years. At his old stomping ground, Miami International, we found modest lines at check-in and going through security. Space is limited in the parking garages and is only going to get tighter. Yeah, we've come as far as one guy come from, came from Alaska. This group was headed to Columbia on an international mission to build a school. They say getting to Miami was not easy. Well, the Houston airport was very busy today. And we were there. We got there by seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, full gates. There are like no seats, but uh, yeah, a lot of people. But for Mason Murray, spending the holiday making a difference is erasing all the travel hassles. I'm really excited. It's uh, it's really great to help out down there and uh, learn a lot of new things and try something new. On a really good mission for the fourth. So we can't say it enough. Get to the airport early and also. These parking garages, we heard it again and again here at FLL and MIA, filling up quickly. Don't be surprised if you have trouble finding a space, so just plan ahead. Reporting in Dania Beach, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.